In the next couple of tutorials we are going to work with the vertical alignment. We are going to create the terrain profile which is based on our horizontal alignment and afterwards we are going to design the actually vertical alignment of the road. We are going to annotate the vertical alignment with the gradient size of radius. We have some information about the stations, the curvature of the horizontal alignment and again we have some information about the vertical geometry, the existing terrain level and also the proposed road level. To get started we need to attach the existing DTM file of the existing terrain and also we need to attach the preference file. So if you go to file and select open In this case we need to browse to the inroads folder and to attach the existing terrain model we need to select the DTM folder and then select the existing DTM file, select open and afterwards we need to select the preference file so go into the preference folder and then att attach the preference file. So in this case I'm making the vertical alignment of our horizontal alignment of the 50 km road, which I have right here. And just in this case, since I have already designed one vertical alignment for the 50 km road, in this case I want to create a new vertical alignment for the 50 km road. And I'll just select new and vertical alignment. And this will be the second proposal. And I will keep the style to default and the curve definition to circular. So now I'm active within this second vertical alignment, but in your case, if this is the first vertical alignment you need to design, then it's sufficient just to have one vertical alignment. The first thing, thing we want to do is to draw out the terrain profile. So we need to go to evaluation, select profile and create profile. And in this case you need to mark the surface that you want to use and this is the existing DTM, the file that we just attached. Next I will attach the preference file and I will select the 1 to 0, 1000 and select load. And now I'm ready to draw out the terrain profile. So when I select apply, I need to specify the, the lower left corner. It will be this part right here. So you need to make sure that you have a free space at this part right here. So I will click to place the profile and in this case you can see now this is the terrain profile which is based on my horizontal alignment. In the following tutorial I will show you how to actually design the vertical alignment and also how to add the information about the size of the radius, the gradients and so on.